Oh, the smell as the kids skate around in this Sun Valley rink. I can smell them. It's so bad. Oh my God. Can you guys smell that? As they started skating around, the smell coming off? It is, it's horrifying. Oh, it, yeah. Oh, that is so right. All right, anyway, we're settling down. Apparently the feed ended, at a, you know, uh, with a few minutes left in the third period and I didn't notice it and uh, from the last night's game, but I assume everybody has heard that we won four to two. Uh, it, I would say it got, you know, I mean, it was interesting. There was moments when Idaho Falls was really putting on pressure and the, and the team, you know, responded well and in the final minute, uh, we put on a lot of offensive pressure that prevented them from pulling their goaltender, and they eventually did get the goalie pulled, but uh, really couldn't mount much. And so uh, that was that. And so uh, the summary from yesterday is that against Boise Premier, it's it we lost four to zero. And yet, it was probably one of the most solid performances I've ever seen this team put together in terms of um, staying in it right to the end, playing tenaciously, playing hard, and skating to the puck, and, and doing all of those things that are about how you choose to play. Uh, and it was just a weird game in terms of luck. So they scored uh, a, a legit goal, um, and it was one nothing. Jesus, hit the nets, you fucking kids! They're trying to put the pucks in the net in this phase of the warm-up, and 90% of them are super hard wrist shots that are two feet above the crossbar. It's just in, it's infuriating. Anyway, so. Uh, Anne's Facebook Live just took a dive. So, at any rate, so they lost four nothing. They scored one goal in the first period. It was one nothing, very legit goal. And then um, it was one nothing for the bulk of the game. And then in the third period, we scored two goals on ourselves. It happens, you know. And um, and then they scored an empty netter. And, by the way, the officials waved off two of our goals, one of which I was watching it, and it was like, wow, that's just the shittiest call I've ever seen. They waved it off because the net was off, and they claimed that the puck w traveled through the area where the post was and wouldn't have gone in. And, and it was like... Anyway, yeah. The officiating in that game, by all accounts, was really, really terrible, so... Um, I mean, it hasn't been great the whole tournament. But, uh, Nick says the officials, for the most part, uh, a bunch of them have just been complete assholes. You know, like Nick will introduce himself, and they're like, you know, hi, I'm Nick. Right? You know, and they'll be like, you're a keeper to me, and skate, skate away. You know, that kind of shit. It's like, okay. Anyway, we're in the Sun Valley rink, which is not ideal for many reasons. Bears win the face-off and get it out of the neutral zone and into the Boise zone, but then it's kicked back out, and Amanda passes it up to Ellis, who gets hammered off the puck. Big open ice hit. Both players fall down, and it's into our zone. Rory wings it around. Ellis can't get control of it, and it's a shot from the point that's... Nick easily saves, and we're back out of our zone. It's Luke and Ellis against two defensemen. Luke takes it into the middle, tries to get a shot, partially blocked, goes wide. Ellis in the far side corner, behind the net, pass to Luke. From the dot, tries to put it on net. It's through traffic, and uh, off it goes into the corner. Luke will go get a change, and 
Holland keeps it in deep, and the Bears' forecheck is looking a little tentative here as they're sort of running in circles. Still managing to keep the puck in, but it is just a um, pretty slap-happy kind of situation. It's Drew now right down the middle, shot on the pads. And left side hash marks, puts it across the middle. It's a bouncer, though. Nobody can convert. Ben now. Forecheck and try to get it back. And uh, Caden puts a shot on, and then there's a wide open net, and then Colin can't handle the puck as it comes out, and uh, it's icing. Kind of got lucky there, and they could have waved that off because Colin kind of, you know, had his stick right where it should have been and just missed it by a little bit. They could have waved that off, but they didn't. So we'll get an offensive zone face off. 13-21 left in the first period. Ben will take it. It's a shot off the faceoff. There's a rebound. Bounces over. Uh, looks like Drew's stick. So no shot attempt there. As Micah pinches into the hash marks and forces it down behind the net. It's Drew. Puts it in. And, and oh, frick. And Caden had a wide open net. and Just missed it wide. It's Chase. Puts it back down to Caden. And now it's Drew. Back to Chase at the point. Chase skates it in a little bit. Risker is shot right into the defender so again that's a bear's habit but you now it's Micah and he fails to hold the blue line and out comes Boise again and into the hash marks and try to dangle Chase disrupts it and now they've got it back and they shoot it and sharp angle shot goes through the crease and off the glass almost shatters the glass and it, all the way down, and now the third line here for the Bears is going to forecheck. It's Tanner. He intercepts a pass in the neutral zone and puts it in. And Lucas, Tanner, and Jackson are putting on pressure here. Put it back into the Boise zone. Rory and Amanda are on defense as Rory pinches in, and Jackson kind of gets in his way. It's Lucas, and he can't quite get it, and he centering passes intercepted. and. Boise on the attack as Amanda tries to check a guy that's a lot bigger than her and just falls down. Pass by Boise is off target. It's Lucas. A bounce pass will go out of the zone into the neutral zone. Intercepted by Boise. And he'll skate it in again and they go in off sides and take the shot anyway. But it was close enough that they don't. Uh, now I gotta get out of the way. Uh... So now it's 11.43 left in the first scoreless first period. Neither team playing super well. Mm. Comes back into our zone. Rory gets it out. Boise in control at their blue line. Breakout pass. They're in the neutral zone. Gain the zone. Put a shot on. Nick deflects it wide. Amanda pokes it past the guy. And then Lellis just gets in the way and prevents the breakout. Puck squirts out, though, and it's in the neutral zone, and Luke tries to get it past the guy, but can't kick it loose, and now it's out. Holland tries to hold it in, and it bounces up and out of play into the premier bench. Bears will get a change. Boise stays out. Face off at center ice. Possession gained by Drew. Takes it wide left into the zone. Has a look. Hash marks. Goal line. Centering pass attempt. And it's chipped, but doesn't go. Colin waits a little too long to take the shot. Doesn't get through traffic. Deflected wide. It's Drew. Centering pass again. Can't convert. Caden leaves it for Drew. Centering pass. Deflected. And uh, Hunter can't keep it in. He's at our blue line. Passes it over to Colin. He has a bit of time and space. Cross ice pass, very nice, over to Caden. Gains the zone, takes a wrister, high and wide. Colin keeps it in. Caden punches it back in now as Colin gets a change, or no, it's one of the forwards that gets a change, it's Jackson. Hunter at our blue line, retreats in, Boise with no four check yet, so Hunter has a look. Waits till the guy gets there and then makes a pass to nobody and gives up a shot attempt. Nick makes the save. So puck wings around now. It's Levi. So he got that 
situation again where we've got Hunter, Colin, Levi, Jackson, and it looks like Drew out. So uh, that's a, a line combination that gave up a lot of pressure. And again, they get a shot away, but it's wide. Colin watches it ring around. It's Tanner that loses possession and Colin now behind the net as Boise with little forecheck pressure and Colin wings it out but it does go on net and Bears will get a partial change and uh, forecheck effectiveness here by Levi and Tanner is not not really great and finally Levi pokes it away in the neutral zone and gets a change as Luke puts pressure on it comes out of the zone it's Chase and the neutral zone and he chips it deep and he's going to charge after it as uh, we'll see if anybody covers for him as he's playing defense Micah keeps it in it goes around it's Tate now centering pass nobody it's Micah he takes that shot and it's a big wide open net but nobody's there to convert Chase gives up the blue line off a bounce pass and it'll be icing 8.45 remaining in the first. The keeper, shot clock person, has it at three shots to three. That seems about right. Um, 8.45 left in the first period. Somebody text me if you can't hear anything or something fails. <sighs> Face-off is... Possession is gained by Boise. My, uh, Micah... I think that was Micah. The puck hopped out on him, and he just fired it back in, and they're going to call that attentional offsides, and the uh, faceoff will come all the way down to the uh, defensive zone to Nick's left. Uh, ben comes away with it briefly before Boise takes it away. They're behind our net. I'm trying to set something up. It's up to the point through traffic, and a tip just goes wide. And now Boise applying some pressure as Micah gets just, he tries to deliver a check and just can't. And the pass goes to Boise. They can't convert a bouncer. And Nick pin pinches and he can't, can't quite get his butt crack on it. And uh, it's loose and he finally covers it. So that was just hellfire and damnation as Nick had it under his butt, but then sort of fell over and it came loose and they kept playing. So that was scrambly. All that after the attentional offsides caused a defensive zone face-off. So here we go now. We're going to have Drew, Ben, Rory, Caden, and Amanda. This time Drew comes away with it, gets it out, then gets tripped. No call. Boise State in clean control at their blue line. And uh, they try to get it out. Drew intercepts it with his stick, but it did come out before it goes back in. And they'll call it offsides, but this time the faceoff is just outside the offensive zone. Looks like they got the Jackson uh, line out at forward again with Amanda and Rory at D. And uh, they lose the faceoff, and then uh, Jackson gets taken down. No, no call. And they punch it in again. And it's going to be offsides again. So let's see what happens here. They win the faceoff. Levi gets it and just leaves it, but Amanda saves him. Amanda gains the red and the blue, chips it over, bouncing puck, goes right through the crease, and Lucas will forecheck, and then it goes all the way down for an icing. So we'll get an offensive zone faceoff after an icing by Boise. 7.32 remains in the first. Line change here. It's the Ting-Tate-Ellis line. Uh, Amanda and Rory remain out on D. Face off. One by Boise. They gain the blue. Pass. Gain the red. Backhand shot. Slow looper in on Nick. Glove save. <clears throat> and we're down here for a defensive zone faceoff. And out come Colin and Hunter. Faceoff is won by Luke. He 
Holland wings it around to the hash marks. It's Ellis. He takes it away, bounces it off. Very nice. It's Luke. Luke and Tate all alone. Nobody behind them. Pass over, and the fucking pass is intercepted by the goalie. So Tate didn't really get into a position that, that really made a lot of sense when it's just two on the goalie. And then they just watch as Boise takes the puck. So again, and then Tate will get a change. Here comes Drew. And yeah, so after that little flurry, nice opportunity. It's Colin now. Weak backhanded pass to Hunter. He'll take it behind the net. Backhanded pass to nobody. And uh, Drew will have to go get it, lose his possession. Attempted pass out to Ben. It goes right through his legs. It's Ellis now. He turns it over, gets it back. Deeks two guys, Deeks three guys. Pass up to Ben at the opponent's blue line. Skates it in, shot. Blocker save. Colin goes in, one hand on his stick again. Can't hold the line. So, Hunter now at our blue line. Bounce pass up to Ben. It goes through his legs again. And Hunter gives up a breakaway and... Shot, blocker saved by Nick. So then Hunter goes to apologize to Nick, but it's like, stop doing that. That's the thing. You can't do that. Micah and Chase come out. It's Caden, Drew, and Ben at forward. And Chase, no, it's Micah, passes it up to... Caden, nice backhanded pass. Beauty pass over to Drew from Ben. Drew skates it in, shoots it. It's blocked. He skates it around behind the net. He's got options. He's all alone in the corner. They're just leaving him alone. And then passes it across. And it's Ben, and he just misses the net by a mile. And uh, the puck sort of dribbles down, and it's not icing as Chase gets there in plenty of time and passes it up and Jackson just boots it uh, so that's a turnover and here comes Boise and they evade chase and Nick saves it again so they skated it in and again the sort of I don't know it hasn't looked hasn't looked good at times so Jackson line is out uh, with Amanda and we come away with the face-off win. It's Jackson. He gets it out of the zone. The Bears will have to chase to get it back. It's Tanner and Lucas on the forecheck. Jackson trailing. And Lucas comes in and blasts the guy. And doesn't really work, though. It's a clean breakout by Boise, but an errant pass is intercepted by Rory. <coughs> he punches it out, but it comes right back in, and Boise is offsides. Hmm. And officials are saying something about an interference call they should have called that I can hear. But anyway, the face-off's down. Here's, it looks like that was Tanner who got it at the red line and just fired it in deep. He gets knocked off the puck, though. Comes out. It's Jackson at the hash marks. He drops it for, oh, boy, Rory. Puts a nice shot on through traffic. It bounces wide. Backhanded pass. Blind backhanded pass in front of the net, but nobody was there. So stop doing that. And then comes out, and it's Amanda who rips a shot. It's sort of deflected off a glove, and now it's a rush by Boise, 2v2. They chip it deep. <clears throat> Amanda's there, gets it past one guy. It's uh, Lucas who has it clean, cross-ice pass. It comes out of the zone, but uh, uh, it was intercepted. They punch it back in deep, and they're going to call that offsides. So, uh, Tate Ting Ellis line comes out. We've got Hunter and Colin, 406 left in the first period. Face off win by the Bears. Collins taking it behind the net, but under pressure, and he slaps it around without looking, and it's a turnover, but the Bears get it back. It's Tate, he fans the puck again. And then he turns it over, and then he gets it back, but then Boise's got it at the at neutral ice, and now it's Colin. It's quick pass. It's finally recovered by Luke. He gains the zone, fires it in, low, rebound. It's Hunter at the blue line, and he passes it over to nobody, and it's a turnover, and it's a 2v2 with Hunter back-checking hard. They get a shot away. Nick saves it again, so another blue line turnover. 
And now we got a three on. Oh, and it's Luke charging in on the goaltender, and he deeks him. And it's a save. Again, he carries it in right onto the goaltender's pads. And then Ellis skates it across, tries to get a shot, can't get it through traffic. And then Luke wings it around. Ellis will have to go get it in the near side corner. Comes out to the hash marks. Boise in control. Little breakout situation here. They get it out as most of them go to get a change. Drew gets checked. Falls down, stands right back up. Skates it in behind their net. He's got options. Has a look. Tries to pass it over to uh, Ben in the high slot. It's intercepted. And here comes Boise. But we got three defenders back. Chase blocks a slap shot and another shot is way wide and it wings all the way around and it won't be icing as it goes behind their goal line because it was a shot by them drew with a nice keep at the blue line falls down and then gets up from his knees shoots it really high and wide ben gets rubbed off the puck at the right side hash marks caden there in support passes it over to drew he tries to get it out to the center mike a deep pinch here puts it in but it's to a Boise player and then they oh and it would have been icing but the official stopped it with his skates so pass back to Amanda on the D and then Ben gets it into the zone peels away for a change as Boise is going to transition to the attack sweep check attempt by Amanda and uh, she back checks very effectively there to take the guy down it's Jackson and he gets back checked and hooked so Jackson press which draws the penalty as he had he had speed, and the only way the guy could stop him at the center line was to hook him. So, <clears throat> the shots say eight to six, but I'm not sure. Like, there's no way for me to tell. Are we home or away? I think that they're out shooting us eight to six. But anyway, 151 left in the first period. It's scoreless. Uh, and, uh, yeah, so they're out shooting us eight to six. It's a power play for the Bears here. Two minutes for hooking. Offensive zone faceoff won by the Bears, but then bobbled by Tate, and uh, he gets it back. No, it's Luke. He tries to put it through traffic and can't. Tate puts a shot on. It's a save, and now it's Luke at the far side hash marks, and he deeks one guy, deeks another guy, backhand, misses the net by about a foot. And Boise gets it back clean, and uh, it's going to be a penalty on us. No, maybe Boise for roughing. Yeah, so it looks like it's a penalty on Boise for roughing. So we'll have a five on three as out comes Hunter and Colin on D with Caden, Ben, and Drew. The faceoff will be to the left, Nick's left. The Bears are attacking, by the way, away from us. We are standing over top of Nick right now as the Bears win the faceoff, but it's all the way over to... The far point, Colin gets over there in time to just punch it deep. And uh, Colin, when you've got a five on three and you get puck possession, it's really, really important that you not play slap hockey. So you've got to get possession and pass the puck when it's five on three. 113 remaining in the first period. 123 remaining in the five on three is... Boise wins the face-off, wings it all the way around, and it'll be another icing. Remember, this is this is the dumb USA hockey rules when, when you're killing a penalty, you're, you're not allowed to ice it. And so now, full line change here by the Bears after two pretty forgettable face-offs in the offensive zone. Micah and Chase are out with Ellis, Luke, and Tate. Face-off win clean by... Luke, nice, there we go. Now a, now a pass and a shot and a save. So Micah, clean shot from the high slot. Put it on net, low, but the goalie with a nice save. Good position. No rebound. So 57 seconds remaining in the first period. No score as the Bears win the faceoff again. It's Ellis high slot. Blocker save. And then it's Ellis hash marks. He has a look, passes it all the way over to Tate. He gets a shot away. It's blocked by a defender. Tate back to the point. 43 seconds in the period. Chase skates it in. And then a pass over as Chase tries to deflect it. He passes it back to Micah. As partial change here by the Bears. And Micah just shoots it into the defender. You got a pass on a five on three. <laughs> and Tate bobbles it. 25 seconds left. Pass too slow. Micah, though, scores. 
So Tate passes it across, and Micah kind of dusted it off, and I thought, oh, no, that guy's going to get over, but then he snipes it in top shelf. And so with 21 seconds left in the first period, the Bears take the lead on a five-on-three power play goal by Micah Clark from Tate. And I thought it was too slow, and I was wrong. So the Bears are still on a power play, five on four with 56 seconds left. There's 21 seconds left in the period. The Bears sort of put the puck up for grabs, and now it's Amanda. Shot and a blocker save again by Nick as uh, the Bears come away with it. Nine seconds left. Bears are on the rush. Will they get a chance to take a shot? They cross the blue line. There's a hand is up. And then there's a chance in the high slot, and they shoot, and there's a save, and then a... no goal. The puck went in, but it was My after the buzzer. Four. The official was very confident, waved Number it off. So 35 four. seconds remain in the power play as time expires in the first period. But I believe uh -huh. that there will be another penalty against Boise based on what I saw the official doing, and Nick was busting off for the 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 bench to get the extra attacker so um so we'll have to sort of see how that plays out <coughs> um the officials conferring with one of them at the score box definitely let me know if the broadcast stops like it did yesterday and with the yell of Bears, the Bears come back out. And indeed, there's a two-minute penalty on the board for Boise in addition to a 35-second penalty. So another five-on-three chance for the Bears for about 35 seconds. We'll switch ends. So now we will be standing uh, over top the Boise Premier goaltender, and the Bears will be attacking towards us. Hmm. So, here comes the Boise goalie. I do think it's a different goaltender than the we play, when we played them last. Um, I do know that at the end of the last game when we played them, the goaltender apparently was like hyperventilating or something. So perhaps he, you know, wasn't feeling well. At any rate, uh, five on three. Bears win the faceoff clean. It's it's Drew. Passes it across to Amanda. She bobbles it, but there's still time. <clears throat> Passes it across, and nobody's there, so not a, not a great idea. But Drew comes in and gets it back. Backhanded pass to Ben. He's got a bit of time. The guy's in front, of, and he just skates it. Oh, Ben, that was terrible. So he just skates it right at a defender, turns it over, and now it's a shitty pass to Drew. And, then, and now two, two Bears players trip over each other. So, and then Drew puts it out, and then, oh, my God, Ben, that was great. He comes in, and Drew with a shot glove save. So, 119 left, and it's not five on three anymore. That was a real comedy of errors. But still a power play here for the Bears for 119. Uh, the Ting Tate Ellis line comes out. Uh, the faceoff is won by the Bears, and Colin keeps it in at the blue line, and Luke... Handling, 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 switches places with with Tate, who circles around and passes it across to Colin. He skates it in, puts the shot on its block. Ellis now skates it around, and he has options, but he skates right towards Tate, drops it for Tate. Tate trying to deke a guy and passes it over to Hunter, who makes a move. He still has it, and he puts it on Ned, and it's... A block, and then Ellis whips around, tries to get a shot on, and it's blocked again. And then Ting, uh, handling, 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 handling. Backhanded pass, and it's not to anybody. Hunter pinches, but the defender tries to chip it up and off the boards and instead chips it up and into our bench. No delay of game penalty that I can see for that. So if they... Uh, NHL level, that would have been that call, but I don't think they call that at this level. <clears throat> it also might have been tipped off of one of our players in that case, yeah. So we still have a power play for 28 seconds, but as uh, Micah keeps it in and puts a shot on it, gets through, but not, uh, not very uh, on target here. 
And that was uh, Levi as Micah takes another shot save. So Micah Clark, a shooting machine, as the end of the power play, we've got uh, Tanner, Jackson, and Levi out at forward with Micah and uh, Chase. Jackson with a nice play to try to prevent the guy from coming out, but in Boise does get it, and then a nice sweep check by Micah takes the puck away. It's Chase in the corner. He s tries to handle it and turns it over, and then it's a save by Nick. As <coughs> that, that didn't look good. <laughs> so line change here for the Bears, at least for the forwards. Uh, ben and Caden and Drew come out. <laughs> uh, face off win by the Bears it's chipped past the defender and uh, oh another no look backhand pass to nobody uh, Bears get another uh, clean look and uh, it's Drew now in the corner and Passes it up to the point. And we skate it in and back to Drew at the far side hash marks. And then back to Chase, back to Drew as they're trying to set something up, but I'm not sure what. Yeah, do something different. And Drew just fires it in and it hits Caden and Caden is down. <clears throat> and uh, Micah just rims it in and Caden's going off. And that shot, Caden was screening the goalie and it, it hit him. And then Drew just gets in uh, Chase's way and now we got an odd man rush here from Boise but Chase back checks and steals the puck and puts it deep as Luke streaks in and the Bears complete a change Luke over skates the puck but it's a pass by Tate across Luke will go get it he retreats has a look kicks it forward and it's right to a Boise player but Ellis is there to back check it away Bears clear the zone as Ellis is checked off the puck in the neutral zone and then a pass by Boise is partially intercepted and and we get it and Amanda passes it up to Ellis at our blue line Ellis circles around passes a beauty pass through traffic to Tate he gets it in on the near side pass Luke backhand shot and then Ellis streaks in to try to get it and then there's a bit of little pushing and shoving but the goalie made a nice play and had it covered so that was a nice little series beauty pass across the ice from Ellis over to Tate right on the money and Jackson's line will come out, and this time it's Jackson, Levi, and, and Lucas Clark, Amanda, and Rory out on D as we lose the faceoff, and streaking in on Amanda, sweep check, takes it away, and back checking Levi, gets possession of the puck briefly before he loses it in the corner, comes up to Lucas Clark, back end pass on the money to Jackson, he's got two guys to beat though, he takes it across the middle, takes it across the left side, tries to backhand it across, and uh, Lucas can't get it, and uh, Rory keeps it in briefly, but now it's out. And Amanda will come over and get it with some forecheck pressure, and she hits it long into the defensive zone. It's back out and back to Amanda. Next time she cross-ice passes it, and Lucas receives a check, but Rory is able to get it out, and again, that official on that side gets in the way as pass to Jackson is not noticed by him and <clears throat> here's Lucas Clark shot from the blue line save and the goalie just drops it and uh, Drew forces a turnover we got guys shot save covers it up so Drew had two options in the high slot and he chose to shoot it I mean they were covered but you know so there we've got the Caden. Good to see Caden out because he blocked that shot from Drew and he was hurting. So it's the it's Caden Ben Drew line with uh, Colin and Hunter. Shot. It hits the side of the net as Caden hustling gets it into the corner and backhands it across the front of the net. But of course, no forwards were there. Comes to Hunter, he tries to shoot it, hits a defender, tries to shoot it, hits a defender again, and it comes out past him. This time Colin is there, though, to prevent the breakaway. Caden in on the forecheck, and it's a pass by Boise in the neutral zone, and then Colin falls down, and we've got a problem. 
shot. I don't know if it was saved. It went wide, so this is not good. And then Colin playing big, playing big. He puts it off uh, into the corner, and then Colin checks a guy from behind, and it's a penalty. And so here comes the goaltender, and they blow, finally blow it dead. So uh, and then it looks like a Boise player is is hurt, so the Bears will sort of skate over to their bench a little bit while we figure out what's going on there. 9.21 left in the second period. The Bears are up one nothing. They've had a lot of chances, but uh, Boise has had their fair share of chances, mostly off of errors in at the offensive blue line where we shoot it into uh, shin pads, we shoot it into traffic, and uh, we wait. We wait at the blue line until we're engaged. We either try to make a move and we turn it over, we shoot it into them and we turn it over, and, uh, and then it's, you know, odd man rushes. So, so this looks, I mean, that guy, he's still sitting down, so this is a bit concerning for that Boise player. Uh, I could, it's all the way down at that end, right? So I know Collins in the box for either cross-checking or hitting from behind, and he should be. That's what he did. But I don't know if that was the player that got hit that is injured. I don't, you know, like it's, I couldn't see. So Nick's still standing in his net, so he'll be able to tell me once, uh, once the game is over. Okay, so he's up and being helped off the ice, so that's nice. But he's... He's looking pretty tentative, for sure. Uh, so that is not good. We definitely don't want that. So Nick was saying, you know, when they played them yesterday, it was an intense game and all of that kind of stuff. But they, you know, it, it was a fun game. They weren't, they were sort of, not, I wouldn't say, it's not a nice team to play against, but it was like, it was a hockey game where everybody was playing hard and, and all that kind of stuff, but nobody was being a dick on either team so Bears will have to kill a penalty here though 921 left in the in the first uh, the shots uh, on the board now stand at uh, 15 for the Bears and 11 for Boise as Micah tries to get it around and it and it comes loose and Boise takes a shot but misses and it's Ting and he gets it a Gets it uh, across the blue line and then kind of fires it, but it bounces off the Boise player, so it's not icing. And uh, so it's a pass by Boise and a clean breakout, and uh, they're in the neutral zone. Uh, shot by the captain is wide of the net and uh, comes out to the point here as Bears set up the box, and a wrister is saved by Nick with no rebound. 8.38 remaining in this first, second period. 1.17 remaining in the penalty to Colin. 1-0 uh, is the score for the Bears. As it looks like we've got Rory, Ellis, Amanda, and some other person. Jackson out on the kill. So, bit of a hook there, but no call. And... Amanda lofts it and tries to get it out past that point man and it doesn't go and so they kick it back in and now Rory will let him have it in the corner and they'll box it out and and now it's a high slot chance attempt and tip and it won't go it's too high and then defenseman pinches way in and gets a shot away and then uh, and then again across the high slot over to the left hand hash marks shot post <clears throat> better get your shit together here Bears and they're going to call that icing on the Bears uh, with 38 seconds left in the penalty to call in. The Bears, again, their penalty kill is play the box, let them shoot from the outside. Um, and against, I mean, against this team, I would be, I would be pretty aggressive in terms of, like, get out there and take away time and space because this team, it's not like Cristeros where they're amazing puck handlers and passers. It's Micah attempts to deliver a check, receives a reverse check, and goes flying. And uh, again, they've got it, and they behind our net, and here they come, and they try to get it in, and Nick saves it, and they're behind the goal line. Sharp angle, shot. Goes off of Nick and up and out of play, I believe. 
16 seconds remain in the Bears' penalty kill. Boise has had possession for the whole time and uh, had been getting some shots here. So there's a shot, and uh, Nick dribbles in on Nick, and he melts it down. So 13 seconds remain in the Boise Premier power play. Is a 10 and 2, so it was a hit from behind. So, And then there's another shot, and Nick Blocker saves it, and it goes up and out of play. So this is really ugly. Um, they've surrendered a lot of shots on this power play. So need to win a faceoff here. Seven seconds remain in the power play. And it uh, looks like Micah might get to this loose puck off the faceoff, and he chips it out and deep. Here come the Bears and the, with their full strength. And and then Drew passes it over, and it's to nobody. And then Caden saves the day with a back check. And the, they still get it in. And then fucking, I don't know if we saved it or what, but <clears throat> now it's Drew. Now it's Caden. Clean shot. Goal! Goal! Drew fought for possession and got it in the zone and then he sort of lost it but trailing trailing Caden grabbed it slot opportunity and he buries it so it's 2 nothing Bears with 6.58 remaining in the second uh, I'm sure Colin's really happy but he's still in the box with a 10 and 2 so uh, he's a good boy Ann says but they dropped the puck Clean face-off win for the Bears, but the officials weren't actually ready, so they're going to blow it dead and do this again. So, shots actually favoring the Boise team, 17 to 15 right now, as the Bears win the face-off, get it deep. It's Luke behind the net, but he overskates it and then wheels around. And <clears throat> Amanda pitching deep. Fakes the shot, hits it down to Tate instead, and Tate with a nice pass across the crease, but it was well defended. Breakout attempt here by Boise. Goes long, Amanda, Tate, gains the zone, deeks a man, puts it in on net, deflected off a Boise player, dangerous for them, but the Boise goalie makes a save. Tate again across the middle, and again, the guys couldn't convert. Shot and a tipped attempt by Ellis, and uh, Colton's all the way out. Amanda, D to D here now is... Chase hits Ellis and goes in and then right back out again. And Luke in a back checking situation gets the puck, puts it deep, and uh, gets checked off the puck. Ellis comes in, checks the guy from behind, and we're going to get another power play as a shot and a save by Nick. And 556 remaining in the second, and the Bears will have to kill another one as Ellis on a back check uh, just hit a guy in the numbers. Not against the boards, but, you know, <clears throat> so. Uh. So, 556 remaining in the second period. Bears are going to send out Caden, Drew, Micah, and Rory for this kill. Face-off will be near side, so on Nick's left. <clears throat> Offensive zone for the premier. We come away with it. Micah behind our net with pressure. Puts it up, but it's stopped by the point man to kept in. and Shot to the center is <coughs> mishandled by Boise, and so they'll have to try that again. And again, give him the corner and the points. So here comes a shot from the point, and it's a goal again because it's through traffic. Nick was screened. Power play goal. <clears throat> with this team man I'm sending my penalty killers out to constantly pressure people so now it's two to one <clears throat> 534 left in the second period <clears throat> And the faceoff is won by Boise, and they're fired up after that. So it's Rory, wings it around. It's Caden. He's got some possession, but he has to hop it out. It's Ben. <clears throat> nice pass to Drew. He gets back checked, though, and taken down from behind. And that is a penalty. So 
Yeah, it's a slash on uh, number zero for Boise as Drew had him beat, and uh, they were not interested in letting Drew shoot, so they slashed him. So the officials calling a very tight game here. We're going to get an offensive zone faceoff. Looks like we got Ben, Caden, and Drew out with Hunter and Amanda. Collins still serving a 10 and 2 for hitting from behind as Caden comes in and tries to get possession and instead comes all the way out. It's Amanda. Nice pass over to Caden. Yeah, they should have called it icing and they finally do. So uh, Amanda was well behind the blue line when she passed over to Caden at the opponent's or well behind the red line. And uh, Caden never touched it, just bounced off and went in. So we're going to get now a defensive zone faceoff. And uh, two to one, 504 remaining in the second. And uh, faceoff win here by the Bears. It's Caden. He gains the neutral zone, chips it deep, and they're going to call it icing as he was bodied off the puck as he tried to. He wanted to sort of do with a little uh, chip it off the boards and get past the guy, but they weren't having it. And we're going to get a partial change here. So Tate, Ting, Ellis are out with uh, Hunter and Amanda. 139 remaining in the power play in the second period. The Bears are winning 2-1, to one, and they lose the faceoff. And uh, now they get it back. It's Amanda. She evades one man and uh, – Evades another guy, and now she's going to keep skating, and then she passes it to Ellis, and they've got a chance here. And then they, <clears throat> Ellis with a nice pass trying to uh, get it over to uh, Ben, and uh, <laughs> Tate just get, it's knocked down, and Amanda will keep the puck in, takes it in. Tempted shot, it's blocked, and, and uh, now the Boise team has it, and they streak in, and they're trying to get this breakaway, and Hunter's there, and he puts it right in front of our net. But uh, then Luke overskates it twice, but still gets it back. And now it's Luke on the attack with 53 seconds left in the power play. Takes it wide, beats a man, then falls down, and then the puck is loose. And they blow it dead because the official was on the other side, and he thought the goalie had it frozen. And we're going to get another penalty call. So another penalty against Boise, I think, for slashing. Holy moly. So it'll be a five on three again for the Bears with 45 seconds left in the, uh, or in the original penalty and 402 left in the second. So Ben's out with Caden. They win the face off. It's Caden. He puts it back to somebody and they rip a shot and it's a stick save. And then Drew back to Caden. He has a look, has a look, backhand pass to Ben. Ben bobbles it. Shot, save, the goalie freezes it. 29 seconds remain in the five on three. So some good passing and insensible shots. I'm trying to figure out, I think it's Chase that ripped that slap shot. And now Chase is kind of limping. So Tate, Ting, Ellis back out. <clears throat> Face off, recovered by the Bears. It's Ellis. He backhands it, but again, so, so this, pow, uh, pen, and then Micah, the official gets in the way, so Micah can't hold the blue line. <coughs> Backhanded pass, gets into the zone, it's Micah, has a look, puts it on net, it barely misses. Now it's Ting, top of the circles, skates it in, it's Chase, it's Micah again, shot goal! Another fucking snipe for Micah Clark, pass over from Chase. And the Bears convert again on the power play as Micah skates it in and snipes one. Now the question is, was the five on three expired? I don't think it was. And so that means the Bears will remain on the power play uh, for one minute and 15 seconds. Uh, as, yeah, so the... <clears throat> so the five on three power play is no longer on the board and so uh with 316 left and so 
they only had three players out, but the question is, did the penalty expire when the goal was scored? Because if it did, then the goal counts against this power play, and it should be even strength. And that is how the Boise team is lined up right now. And just based on the scoreboard, I think that's what it should be. Um, you know, if that if that penalty isn't on the board, it means, yeah. And so that's what they're going to do. So it's five on five. And the Bears win the face off, but then immediately turn it over. Um, and now it's Micah, passes it over to Ting. Ting will take it in on this near side. He's got Ellis. He beats one guy and circles around, leaves it for Tate. Tate sends it across, but it's off target, and it's Micah. Micah gets beat, and Ting is there to help him out. And uh, Micah delays them enough that they go in offside. So... 251 remaining in the second period. The Bears are currently up 3-1. to one. Um, The scoreboard says there's a penalty still up, but it, it's not, I don't think. I don't think that's a thing because it's 5-on-5. Five five, so. Face-off recovered by Boise. They get it into the zone, and a shot is blocked and goes wide, and it's Ben who is trying to prevent that from doing a thing, and... And now it's the Bears just getting in their own way, and then it's Lucas over to Tanner, and he turns it over, and then it's Jackson in a back-checking situation, and he's successful. He prevents the zone entry, and now it's Tanner, and he puts it in the zone, but right into a Boise player's crotch, and then Jackson overskates the puck, and Tanner gets it again, puts it into the zone. Lucas is the only one who decides to forecheck. The rest of them are changing, and then... A shot goes way high as Tanner rips a shot and then peels away for a change, but it was on target but high. And then a big pinch there, and it's successful as uh, Drew comes away with it. Lucas parked in front of the net, back door. Drew just shoots it, trying to do that sharp angle thing. The goalie had it well played. And uh, so Lucas, I mean, the way where Drew was, he would have had to move to get it to Lucas on the back door, but I think he was kind of hoping for a rebound. Uh, it's Drew Creighton and Ben now with Amanda and Rory. <clears throat> Attempted shot off the faceoff doesn't work. And Amanda, no, it's Rory that gives up the blue line, so the Boise's on the attack. Caden with a great back check, steals the puck. The Attempted pass, though, goes out, and it's Boise at the red line with some Bears checkers. And then it's uh, Drew or somebody intercepted a pass. And, yeah, it was Drew intercepted a pass but couldn't convert. Caden delivers a check. They keep it in. It's Drew down on my, my corner here. He gets hit from behind, rams his head into the boards, no call. And he pa- finally passes it over to Ben behind the net. Ben trying to centering pass. It's blocked. And it comes up to Boise at the hash marks. And uh, Boise's off to the races, but uh, Hunter prevents the the shot, and then a guy fans on it. And so now it's Micah. He fans on it, gets it back, passes it over D to D. It's Hunter, passes it, but it's a saucer pass, and it bounces over Ellis, and so Ellis has to get it back. And now it's uh, Luke kicking it in the neutral zone, trying to get possession. It's just up for grabs. And finally, Luke comes away with it, and he does something weird, but it bounces to Ellis, cross-ice pass. It's a bouncer to Tate. Tate overskates it. Tate gets it back. He weak pass to Micah. He tries to put a shot on it. It's about four feet wide of the net. Ellis, far side hash mark, attempted shot, blocked, and back to the far side point. It's Tate, passes it. Ellis takes the shot, and Luke is there, but... <laughs> the Bears were in front of the net, couldn't convert. Backhanded pass over to somebody at the point. I think it's somebody. It was Hunter. He took a shot through traffic. And finally, Boise ices it with 4.1 seconds left in the second period. And we're going to have an offensive zone faceoff. And so Luke is going to try to set up a shot and charge off the, off the drop, I think. Okay, so he's going to have Ellis take the faceoff. Luke's going wi- to uh, wind up wide net side as they try to get it in and and they get the shot away but it's off shin guards and time expires in the second period and the bears lead three to one scoreboard says 21 shots to 19 in favor of the bears and uh 
Nick tries to give the uh, opposing goalie a high five, and the opposing goalie is not having it. <coughs> so, there it is. Let's check the messages and make sure I'm still broadcasting. So, Leslie's texting me saying, what is the score? Which means, of course, she's not listening to the broadcast. So, which is, that's the whole reason I started broadcasting, was so that I didn't have to text Leslie the score. So... <laughs> First world problems. Good effort, I think, up and down the roster by the Bears here uh, in terms of, like, the, the choices they can make in terms of how they play. No complaints. You know, there's effort. Um, there's skating. Uh, some of the turnovers at the, at the blue line definitely have led to opportunities. And then the one goal that the, uh, the Boise Premier has scored was a power play goal. They You know, they had a traffic in front of the net and and we we were giving them on the outside and it, you know it got through <clears throat> so switching ends again in a 3-1 game bears are leading 3-1 to one. <sighs> so <clears throat> chase again he appears to be limping around out there i don't know uh, it's weird. So it's Chase and Rory with uh, the Caden, Ben, uh, Drew line to start the third. The puck will be dropped at center ice, as is tradition, and uh, the Bears come away with possession, charging right down the middle in the offensive zone. Then Ben will take it wide right. And he circles around, he passes it back, and it's, uh, it's Drew. He evades a man, gets a shot away, and it's either blockered or misses the net. And then another... Centering pass over to Drew. He rips a shot, and he can't quite get it. And Chase tries to hold the blue line, but it did bounce out, and he puts it back in, and we're going to get an offsides call. It's funny. I don't get any notifications when I get texts. So... Face-off win here by Boise, but then it's stolen by Drew, who gets it to Rory, who puts it in deep. Boise recovers, though, and Caden on the forecheck. Rory will pinch in deep, punch it in deep, and I think we're going to get a penalty against the Bears for tripping. So, 14-18 remaining in the third as Caden goes to the box for tripping. Bears are up three to one. We got Amanda and Micah out uh, with uh, Ting and Tate for the kill. Face off far side, off, uh, defensive zone. Face off one by the Bears. Amanda will take it behind the net, evade, evade, and then she turns it over. And so the Boise players get it back, and now they're behind the net. And then a backhand pass goes right to Tate, and he sort of chips it up and out, and. The, Luke will forecheck as the uh, Boise tries to set it up. A nice little pass there for zone entry. Amanda's trying to keep it to the outside. The shot uh, goes way wide, so Boise wings it around again, and the Bears are just really bunched up in the middle. And then an attempted shot is, like, blocked by six different players, and it's weird. Nobody knew where it was, and Tate now... Putting on pressure, and here they come, shooting it in, and Nick Nick Nix makes the save. So, again, the Bears' penalty kill, giving up a lot of shots from the outside. 13-32 remaining in the third period. Bears up 3-1. to one. one fourteen remaining in the penalty kill. We're going to switch out a couple of players. So Jackson's out here. He wins the faceoff and loses possession after a while. And so now it's high slot opportunity, and a tip attempt is... Goes wide, and then uh, Micah wings it all the way around. Jackson busting his ass to forecheck here. We'll get another partial change. Here comes Hunter. Here comes Rory, and Boise gains the zone. Hunter has a chance to get possession here. He does, and he skates it, and it goes right in front of the net, and then Nick has to dive on it. So Hunter tried to go behind the net, and uh, under pressure, the puck he lost possession, and the puck squirted out, but we'll get a face-off out of it. Prestwich wins the face-off, and Ellis tries to get it out, and uh, it's blocked. 
Ellis tries again, and it's blocked again. It gets up to the point <clears throat> for Boise. Down and now below the goal line in the corner. Other side into the corner. Shot, save. Shot again, save. Shot again, save. Hunter takes a man behind the net, and now back up to the point. 17 seconds remaining in a power play. Shot, save. Jackson now forcing a guy to, oh, and then Hunter with a nice block. That looked like it hurt. And now we got another guy coming in, coming in, coming in, and it's loose in front of the net, and it's a scramble, and then the Bears take it away from each other, and then it goes into the corner. And the penalty has expired. And so now a centering pass goes right through the crease. And the Bears are even strength, and then Mick makes a final save. And it's 12.05 left in the third period. And we're going to get a big line change here as Chase comes out, Ben comes out, we got Micah, we got Caden, we got Drew. Defensive zone face off. It's, possession is gained briefly by the Bears, but we don't clear the zone. And now it's in the corner. Micah with a little bit of time backhands it, but it's taken away. And now it's over to Ben. He's going to get it at the right side hash marks. A bit of space. Tempted pass is intercepted. And uh, Boise has it in the neutral zone. In they come. Caden on the back check. Takes the puck away briefly. Chips it up to the uh, <coughs> Boise player. And it's Drew on a breakaway. He's got one man to beat. He beats him, but the goal, he makes a good save. Pokes it wide. Drew. On the forecheck, he falls down, pucks under his butt behind the net. He doesn't know what's going on, and it comes out. Ben trying to put on some pressure here as Chase holds it in, chips it deep. It's Drew behind the net again. Circles around. He's got some options. Skates it across, gets a shot away. Glove. Oh, it goes in. The goalie had it on his glove, but it went in anyway. 4-1 to one now for the Bears with 11.08 left in the third period. <clears throat> so the Bears will skate off. Shots on the board say 24 to 24. <clears throat> Looks like they'll keep the line. Looks like they'll keep the lines the same. Let's. <clears throat> no, they're going to do a bit of a change here. So Amanda uh, and Rory are out with Jackson, Levi, and Tanner. And. Uh, Bears come away with the face-off win. Nice pass by Rory. It's Jackson. He gains the zone. Has a look. Has a look. Rips a shot. It's a save. It's Levi. He tries to pass it out, but it's a bit errant. And so now Boise's going to come out. And uh, a very nice back check there by Levi. Uh, the ref takes the worst of it. And uh, now it's over to the far side hash marks. It's Tanner. He does get it out. And, uh, but it's back to Boise for possession. And now it's Rory, chaps it up to Jackson. And Jackson at the red line, fires it deep. He'll peel away and get a change. So will Levi, so will Tanner. Here comes Tate, Tate, Ting, Ellis. Boise with clean possession. Their blue line, the red line, our blue line. They beat Rory. Ellis, though, forces him wide. Then he steps on the puck, and so Ellis takes it away. Ellis with a backhand pass, it's Ting. Evades a check, gets it deep, corner, far side, behind the net. Has a look, has a look, has a look, has options, squirts around and tries to do what Drew did, shoots. Tate gets the rebound, takes a shot, two saves. Is, and then uh, a pass to the middle is right to a Boise player. They kick it out, it's Hunter now. D to D at the red line to Amanda. She tries a pass cross ice, it's intercepted. We get lucky, it could have been a breakaway. Hunter <coughs> defending the guy as he, oh, and then Hunter gets leveled. <coughs> and uh, so they call a penalty on that guy for leveling Hunter. And he starts mouthing off to the ref. And we're going to see that ref's kind of following him in. And he's going to see, he's telling him that he extended his arms. And uh, you're not allowed to do that. So... There's Colin is back out after serving his penance. The official's in the penalty box with that player, presumably explaining to him why he called that penalty. I don't know. 
Faceoff here for the Bears. It comes back to Colin, and he skates it in. He skates it in. Shoot it, buddy. And uh, he passes it over to Band instead, who rips a shot, and it's up and out of play. 151 remaining in the power play for the Bears. 923 remaining in the game. And the Bears are up 4-1. to one. Out shooting Boise only 25-24. to 24. So Colin and Chase out as the D pair here. And it's one back to Chase. He puts it on net, and Ben tries a tip, doesn't go. And this Caden skates around, passes it to Colin. Colin has a lot of time. D to D pass to Chase. Chase has a lane, shoots. Rebound, shoots it again, and it's either a save or he missed. I'm not sure. Colin down to Caden in the corner. Caden loses possession, and it's behind the net. He's fighting for it. Chase keeps it at the blue line, skates it in. They're going to give it to him. Skates it in, shoots. Blocked. Now it's Drew, hash marks, behind the goal. And then, yeah, like, I guess it, like, he shot it. The puck, like, disappeared. It was on the side of the net. Everybody just stopped playing. No whistle. It was really weird. Anyway, 8.48 left in the game. Bears are up 4-1. to one. one fifteen left in the power play. We got uh, Lucas, Levi, and Jackson out on the power play with Rory and Micah. Jackson, who's been doing pretty well in the faceoffs here, gets it. Oh, it bounces over Micah's stick, though, and it's Micah and Rory coming all the way back to the defensive zone to try to set something up. Micah passes it to Rory. Rory's got space. He's going to get the neutral zone and gets the red line, puts it in deep. Levi coasts in, uh, gets it, has lots of time and space here. Just skates it in, then drops it. It's a shot off the side of the net again, this time for Micah as... Jackson replacing Micah at the blue line, holds the blue. Micah again takes the shot. Save. And then uh, Boise gets it out to the neutral zone. And uh, it's a D to D pass here from Jackson to Rory. Rory with a saucer pass to Levi. He chops it out of the air and keeps it in the zone. And and it comes back out. And it's Amanda. She's just going to skate it on in. Skates it in, gets it to the circle, gets it behind the net, evades one man, she's got options, passes it to Tate, he rips a shot, it goes wide. It's Prestwich, far side, oh, he turns it over. He's trying to get it back, he's falling down. <clears throat> Power play's over, it's Amanda, she rips a shot. Save, it's Tate. He's gonna go behind the net, it's Lucas Clark, he's behind the net. He's got options, and he tries to pass it in front, but there's nobody there except Boise players, and it comes all the way out. (coughs) It's Ting now. He's got it in our zone. He tries to dust it off and loses it, but he bounces it to Amanda. Amanda with a backhand pass to nobody. Here's a breakaway. Chase is there with Amanda backchecking, and they score. So again, the blind backhanded pass costs the Bears as he comes in on a breakaway. And now it's four to two with 7.05 left. So out comes Caden, Ben, and Drew with Colin and Hunter. And the Bears come away with possession. It's Ben on the left side. He takes it across the middle into traffic and turns it over. And the Bear, uh, Boise gets it out, and now it's guy coming in on Hunter. Hunter with a skate check. Another dude comes in on support. Caden takes it away from him. Caden's off to the races with both forward uh, in with him. He goes right through all the defenders and takes a shot. Save. Tries to get the rebound behind the net. He does. And then he turns it over. And then Colin just manages to keep it in on the blue line. And Ben's going to go in and try to forecheck it. Get that back. Comes out to Hunter. Does come out. And Hunter puts it in. Takes a check. Uh, it was a bit late, but it's okay. And that's offsides. So, so 6.26 remaining in the third period. The Bears are leading 4-2. to two. And uh, we're, that was intentional offsides. And so a line change will take a defensive zone faceoff. <clears throat> and it's a shot off the faceoff goes wide. And uh, Boise gets it, but then they turn it over. And it's Luke. He's off to the races. And he's got back checkers. He's got one guy to beat. He's got Tate, and he gets smoked off the puck. And they call a penalty. 
and uh, I'm not sure what the call is, but mm. and uh, Luke went into the boards hard and it remains down. Uh, Boise is not happily that happy that that penalty got called. Uh, Jim is wandering out. It's 6:09 left in the th third period. Bears are up four to two. Why does he need an inhaler? <laughs> so I don't know who needs an inhaler. Yeah, I know it's Luke, but like, why does he need an inhaler? He got hit into the boards. Maybe he's got the wind knocked out of him or something. I don't know. But <sighs> All right. Hunter went and got something. Now he's skating hard to uh, give it to Luke. And <coughs> mm. I don't know what's happening. It's very far away. No text saying I've lost the stream or anything, so. Mm, so Luke's sitting up. Uh, Jim's going to help him stand and. Uh, uh, some object on the ice. I can't tell what it is. Uh, uh. So Luke's skating off. You've probably heard the applause. Uh, <clears throat> most of the rest of the, everybody except Nick is at the bench and stuff like that. And we're going to get a offensive zone face off with a power play. And they're sending out Caden, Drew, and Ben with Micah and Chase. And. Uh, <clears throat> On the left side, far side, is the location of the face-off as Bears win it, and it's a pass across, and Chase tries to rip a shot from the point but fans it, and so he still manages to keep it in, though. The Bears will have to forecheck to get it back. Uh, and uh, Ben beats one guy, but they get it and they ice it. So 5.49 remaining in the game. Uh, 141 remaining in the power play for the Bears here is they're defending a 4-2 lead. It was 4-1, but they gave up a breakaway there. And here's Rob walking by. Bears again battling for possession off the faceoff. They do come away with it. It's Ben. He turns and shoots and just barely misses the net. Now Caden puts a guy almost into the opponent's bench with a body check. <coughs> and... Uh, Hassling, hassling, and Bears come away with the puck, and then Boise takes it away. Now Boise on the rush with defenders. Is Ben lucky to not hook the guy, and now it's Drew. So Drew, with time, he's going to get in, and he overskates the puck, and now he passes it to Ben. Ben will rip the shot, and it's a save. One minute exactly remaining in the power play, and 5.09 remaining in the game. Out comes Tate, Ellis, and Jackson taking the place of Luke on that line, which is, uh, I mean, Jackson's been working his butt off in these last three games, so. Uh, in fact, here he is. He's going to go, and he's going to get that puck for the faceoff. Passes it out front. It's Ellis. <clears throat> Goalie covers it up. Ellis. That was great. Jackson off that faceoff, charged in, puts it out front. Ellis was there. Well defended, though. We'll get another offensive zone face-off on the near side. Boise goalie adjusting his gear. Now we're good. And uh, face-off win. It's Jackson back to Rory. Shoots it, but it's blocked, and Ellis will have to go get it in the corner. Ellis, backhanded pass. It's, it's Tate. He circles around, and 
takes a shot, misses the net by a lot. So here's Rory. He sneaks it in, and then Ellis is there. Now Amanda pinching. This is very dangerous because, oh, no, Rory's back now. So for a minute there, this is a shot, but it's on, it's on net. Oh, no, it wasn't. It hit the post, so it's icing again. Nick was just, like, there trying to. So 25 seconds remaining in the power play and 4.33 remaining in the game as we're going to get an offensive zone faceoff again with the Bears up 4-2. to two. We got Hunter out with, oh, okay. We got, we got Levi, Tate. <coughs> no, we got a timeout. We got a timeout. So we were sending out Hunter, Colin, Levi, uh, Tanner, and Lucas. <coughs> and then uh, they call the timeout. So 4.32 left, down two goals. We're going to see a goalie pull soon. So, uh, got to watch for that. So I don't know. I don't know why the timeout. I don't know what. You know what the what they were gonna do in terms of calling stuff, and they did make a defensive change here. So uh, instead of Hunter and Colin out on this faceoff, they've got Micah and Chase. Uh, 23 seconds remaining in the power play. Levi, Lucas, and Tanner out. Um, like Nick's yelling something, but I can't tell what. So, Puck's down, and uh, Levi comes away. Tanner turns and rips it, and uh, it's uh, saved. So, 16 seconds remaining in the power play. And uh, here's, here's Levi, and he can't get the shot off. And uh, comes around. It's Micah, and it gets past him, but Chase is there. We're in the neutral zone as the penalty expires. And then... And then they call something. I guess it must have been offsides as Chase was firing it in. So we're going to get a center ice face off. And technically, the, I mean, the power play is over, but it's one second left. So as soon as that puck goes down, the B even strength with 410 remaining in the game. Then wins the face off. It's Drew. He gains the zone, but it comes right back out. It's Colin. He's being pressured by that guy who came out of the box he puts it into their zone but they recover so here's a zone entry by Boise it's against Hunter he gets beat to the outside the guy skates in Nick makes the save high stick high stick tip <coughs> and uh, nobody knew what to do so everybody stopped that was really bad so uh, that guy couldn't touch it because he high sticked it out and now it's Drew bounces it to Caden Caden beats the guy to the corner and uh, receives a check, and the, the dude doing the checking uh, takes the worst of it. Is, and here's another, uh, and this is now Colin giving it up, and they score. So Colin gives up the blue line, and they beat him, and Amanda couldn't get over, and now it's 4-3. to three. That's, yeah, so. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. So now we have Tate, and it looks like Luke Ting is back out there with Ellis, Amanda, and uh, uh, Rory, and we're up four to three. And we win the face off, and it's Luke. He's going to take it wide left. He charges in there. Ellis trailing slowly, tra Tate tra trailing hard, and the backhanded pass is to nobody, and Amanda keeps it in off the bounce. It bounces over. It's Tate in the far corner. Tate passes it, no go. It's taken by Boise, and here they come. Rory pinches, and he's successful. Gets the puck, but it comes back out, and it's Tate. Passes it over to Amanda in the neutral zone. 353 left. Amanda passes. It's intercepted. Ellis gets it back, though, and Ellis puts it deep far corner. Tate peels away to get a change, and it's Ellis trying the four check as the Bears are not really four checking here, which is weird, so... Drew picks it out of midair and fires a shot. Glove save. 2.32 left in the game. The Bears are up 4-3. to three. 
and we have a line change here. It's Micah and Chase on D with Ben, Caden, and Drew. And uh, Bears come away with it. Drew in the high slot. He gets a shot away, attempted tip. He gets another shot away. No. And then uh, he's in the corner now, and he gets checked and then loses the puck. But then Ben's there in support, and Drew gets the puck back, takes it behind the net, loses possession, and now there's a whistle. I don't know what the whistle's for. It's going to be a penalty on us, maybe, or... And now a timeout. So I don't know what the call was, but the 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 uh, puck was gonna the faceoff was gonna come outside the zone, and now Boise has called a timeout. And here's where it gets interesting because oh, it was a crease violation, is what Jeff is saying. Two fourteen remaining in the third period. We've got a timeout shoe. So, uh, Boise's called the timeout. They're going to try to win this faceoff, gain, gain the zone, and uh, uh, pull the goalie, right? And so that's important. <laughs> the play is to not let them do that. Okay, so we've got Micah and Chase out on D with Ben, Caden, and Drew. And uh, face off just outside the offensive zone, far side. Comes back to Boise in their zone. They're going to try to break it out. And uh, Caden, it's Micah. He puts it deep. So we're trying to keep him in there so they can't, they can't pull the goalie. It's, it's Drew. He evades one man. He tries to go across the middle. He can. He's full, pulled down from behind. He's, yeah, and he turns it over finally. So... Can't do that. And Caden on the back check disrupts possession. And it's uh, Ben. He's got it briefly. And he gains the red line. Now the blue. He puts it in deep. 142 remaining. <clears throat> and it's a Drew. they got to be relentless here as Chase falls down at the blue line. And here comes Boise. But a back checking Caden saves the day. Gains the zone. Far side. Puts it on net. And there's... It's up for grabs and under somebody's butt, and then it goes wide. Now it's Ting fighting for possession of the puck. Ellis is out there now with Amanda. Here comes Tate, and Boise gets it out. And uh, here's Tate. The day oh, my God. Passes it right into the skates, but Micah recovers. Red line. Puts it in off somebody's skates. 104 remains, and the Boise hasn't been able to pull the goaltender yet as Tate prevents the puck from coming out at the hash marks. Puts it on net. And the goalie saves it and drops it right in front of his own net. And uh, Ellis almost grabbed it and scored. And Ellis gets it back, and he's behind the net. He has a look. Pass. And it's right on somebody's stick, but they turn it over. Here comes Boise on the rush. Great defensive play by Micah. It's Ting. It's up to Tate. And Tate will put it back to Ting. He puts it back to Micah. Micah can't get it. One hard four checker. And Micah rings it in to Amanda. And Amanda finally gets it to Ting. And Ting bounces it out that was almost it they don't pull the goalie on that and so it's ellis and he puts it in slow on the net 17 seconds left it's drew and it's ellis and now it's over to micah 11 seconds left micah puts it into the corner nine seconds left and it is drew he puts it across the middle and we can't convert two seconds left ellis gets a shot away and that's the game the bears win the Bears win the Rep Championship 18B after holding on from a furious rally by Boise. There's gloves and sticks and blood and spit and other bodily fluids all over the ice. It's really awkwardly celebratory. And anyway, the Bears hang on. The Bears hang on. And they give the cheer. They're going to go shake the hands. I guess I'm going to just stay broadcast. I don't know what they're going to do with this whole thing in terms of 
this kind of stuff. But anyway, they put it out there. They made some mistakes, but they hung on. They played with resiliency. Uh, Micah Clark, the hero of the game, with two snipes uh, in terms of scoring goals. So <clears throat> handshake line is happening now. And then looks like there's <laughs> some dude out there on the ice with a trophy. So I guess hang on. I'll tell you what happens. So holy moly, though. They made it interesting. They made it. Final shots were 30 to 27 for the Bears. So, uh, I mean, whoa. Uh, definitely a game. <laughs> so. All right, they finished circling around to shake the hands of the uh, officials and all of this kind of junk. And. Uh, <clears throat> Now they're going to the blue lines. I guess they've been told to do this. I don't, I'm not sure, I don't know, for a presentation. <laughs> so who'd have thunk it? After the way they played that first game, I was like, oh my God, <laughs> what are we even doing? But they put it together. So, the teams are at the blue lines. Uh, there's a tournament official yelling. I can't hear what he's saying. And, uh, yeah, I can't hear anything that he's saying. There's no microphone or anything like that. And uh, it's the head of the Idaho State Hockey Association. You know the guy. And uh, he's got medals and a trophy, and he's saying some words. I'm going to make it up and I'll be like, hey, this was a really great tournament. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Uh, it was a good game, which is totally true. Uh, looks like the Boise team is getting medals <coughs> for second. And then uh, he's looking at the thing, and then out goes Luke Ting. <coughs> shake the guy's hand and he gets a big pile of medals <clears throat> and a trophy and uh, he goes back to the team and that's that and there's clapping and probably some pictures and that kind of stuff and kids are handing a trophy back and forth I don't, it's all very awkward and then oh here comes the dude with a banner <laughs> I don't know what's happening <clears throat> yeah so he's saying more words. I wish I could. I wish they had a microphone. That kind of sucks. But oh, I see it. So it's the captains are putting the medals on their teammates, right, and stuff. So <coughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, <laughs> now he's talking to the Boise players, and some of them are raising their hands. And then uh, he's talking to the Bears players and. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Can can we just wrap this up? We got a long drive ahead of us. That's where I'm at. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, and then Luke's gonna come out, and they gets the banner. So there's a trophy and a banner and medals. Now there's applause. <clears throat> now there will be pictures. It was a good game. So, good job.